today we are going to make a skeleton loading view, which is a loading view that shows what you're actually supposed to look at, like a post or, or something on Facebook or LinkedIn, and it'll show a very rough redacted skeleton version of it. So instead of having a text, you'll have like a gray bar. Instead of having a round icon, you'll have a round gray image. And this is much more engaging than having like a standard loading spinner or a text that says loading. And uh, Swift UI actually comes more or less built in with this functionality, which is really amazing. So let's take a look at it. Uh, what I got here is a very simple view that um, on appearing will load a bunch of posts. Now, um, post is a very simple struct around here. We have it as codable and hashable. That's important for the list we're going to do later. Uh, we get it from the JSON placeholder website, which is a really good website if you want some mock data just to use it. And what this does, it is just displays those as a list with all of those posts, and but only if there are some. So if the posts do not exist, we will show our loading view. And um, so we have like about a second, we have about a second here after this thing has, has been shown, where uh, there the process of getting the posts actually starts, at which point we want to show our loading screen. And right now the loading view is just our text loading. So let's see how this looks. Ah, there it was, there it was already. Uh, we had about a second, half a second of our loading screen. And uh, then actually the actual view appeared because at this point we got our um, post data. So I'm just going to stop this and we'll continue this here in the canvas for live updating. So we got some mock classes, uh, some mock, mock posts up here. I got them up here. And underneath we have our loading view as you can see here. So, and um, everything we put in here will basically be our loading view. And um, we, can, we can now adapt the text if you want to. We can make it longer, shorter, and you can see how the actual bar will change. And um, this way we can assemble a nice view how um, our actual posts up here would look like if we change this. So um, I did already prepare this. And the code, it'll be looks like this. Align this. And uh, what we have is basically a list, and then we have a for each for all of our test mock posts we have down here. Uh, identify via self. This is why the post class needs to be hashable, so we can have the for each run over it. And then for each post, we will show an H stack with the post body on the right redacted and the circle uh, for the fake profile image on the left in gray. But this color can be adapted. This is, this is the standard gray, this is not a redacted gray. Skeleton gray, as I call it. And uh, now we can already see how the view would look. So on the top, we had our default standard view of our posts. And at the bottom, we will see the redacted display, the redacted skeleton loading view. So when we now load the entire thing, we'll have about half a second to one second where we are fetching the data. And at that, and at that moment, for that time, we will see the actual skeleton posts. Hey, check it out. Isn't that neat? And uh, yeah, this is this is by now the, the gold standard for loading screens. Really, Facebook uses it, LinkedIn, Twitter, pretty much anything you can think of. You can even even improved it. Um, pretty much anyone you can think of. And that's it for today. Uh, don't forget to press the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.